someone to scan this QR code for the settlements. All of you scan this QR code. Okay, so let's start the video session. So today we are going to discuss the different data screen and also voices or visual The screen is visible to all of you, and the voice is audible. Then we are going to discuss different property method and uh, different property methods and mobile controls. So, what are the properties for the uh, particular user and what are the methods we are having uh, for an event? Okay, and what are different types of events that are we are having for a control? So, first of all, we have to understand the healthy object such as form or a control, it has a set of properties that is described. So whatever we create, whether we create any form or whether we create any uh, what we can say any control. So on this are uh, whether it's control or a form, it is basically described with the help of a certain property. So you can say although this type of is it identical for all objects, or this property are not same for all the objects, but some property, you can say some properties uh, are common to most of the controls or forms. Now here in this table you can see here. So I have listed some of the properties that are common to okay, some of the properties are common to uh, your event and control. Okay, basically forms and control. What are the properties which are basically common? Okay, common to certain events. So in, in this table you can see one of the common familiar properties, one of the properties and their descriptions are given here. So as you can see here, as you can see here, the first property is the left. Okay, so what is what is described basically the left property to describe the position of the left side of the control with respect to its center. So the top top is described the position of the top of the control with respect to its center. That center is on right. Okay, center is on left. Name. Okay, means set in the string value or string value used for record the control. And another one, a Boolean QR cross value 
thirty ten point thirty two per year that can benefit the customer on top. Next is visible. Visible is here. Visible is your quantity. This is the value of the visible. In the background, block. Okay, so these are certain properties that uh, that are listed with respect to your function control, and these properties are basically common. Okay, common to most of the control. Then you can say these are the properties which is uh, mostly common to most of the control. Now these are now these table you can see now these are you know the common index okay like uh, common properties like you know the certain index which are very common to most of the control so or you can say the common index for the different basic control so now the, the different control may have the different types of index okay different control may have different types of index but certain uh, most of the index Are present that have some common common, or even most of the control are there, which are having a common index. Now we have we have listed two columns. One is your index, then the second column is your appearance or basically you can say description about the index. Okay, the first index you can see here the change index. Okay, so it basically uh, uses or it is helpful for the user to modify the text. You know. Combo box or a text box. So whenever you want to modify or some certain modification, either in your text box or in your uh, combo box, so we just basically use this changing function or change in the uh, function box. Okay. Next, we just click. So you can click the. So you just click the primary property. This 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 event is performed for the performing on uh, bound button. As an object, similarly, we are using band, drag, drop. Okay, then we are add over, get focus. Okay, C, C down, C down, C down. So all these events are listed. So one of the events that we are listed here. Okay. So. So whatever uh, uh, we can say whatever the event types are very common to the most of the controls. Now this is an example. I will show you uh, how this is particular one. So just uh, go through this slide once. How we are using the slide as an example. Or how we are example you can see now. The change is reflected. Okay, I'm using the change in the event. Now, first of all, we use the private as an access specifier. Now, we are using the procedure. Now, name of the procedure is now text one underscore change. Right. So, whenever I type this uh, uh, text one underscore change, so it will be used for editing the. Uh, so, uh, as I am describing this type, it is just being used for editing the text in your Uh, text box comment on combo box. Okay. So what we are doing is we are changing the color. We are changing the, 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 the back background color. So now what we are doing form one form. So now changing the form one background color form one. And now we are form the form which will be back color which will be blue. So what will be when the user will change this text in the text box, the back color will Of the form, the changes to the user. So automatically, when you perform this changes, any change is done. So automatically, the uh, background color will also be changes to the user. Similarly, we are having the second uh, example here. Okay, the second example is related to the event for command button. So we have used the procedure here. You can see as we have used the procedure now. Back to specify the process time. Okay, now we can the function name. So the process is that is that is being performed. Now we need to function here. Command one is to print. Okay. Now then print 
click on the activator button and press it. So what wants to uh, execute the setup tool now? Okay, so when the user click on the command button, okay, when I will click on the command button, then it can be that is activated, okay, which will be printed on a form. So that is will be activated and it will be going to be in this form. So Further you check, okay. Now, this is an example for DB click and for the mouse event. So, just look, go through this slide and for the next how you will work with Okay, so now you can see that. So, this is this example. Now, you can put in example. This is an example for a user that is performed for DB Pay. Oh, on the DB Pay, it develops it. Okay. Now, as we have a highway, at the specified, then we are having the procedure form. This is the procedure function. So, form dot one cancel is like this. That would be the particular in this particular form. So you cancel the user directly So what I'm saying is so when the user uh, uh, double click on the form, okay, so uh, in the form what we are performing this one. So whenever the user anywhere, you can double click on the form, the caption of the form will be changed. So whatever the title of the form for the user that can be verified. Okay, to double click the user. So then the next example you can see this is mouse movement event for the picture box. Uh, we are again we are using the five keyword. Then the uh, function name is picture one underscore mouse move. Now here we are running the mouse button. Okay, now you can see the argument as button as an integer. Okay, now I'm going to button as argument. Let's see as an integer, now see the value of the magic integer type. Now uh, x is the single time value and y is also a single time value. Now what I am doing now as you can see picture one from picture. So I am using the picture one. So we are uh, editing this one. So what we are doing both pictures. So I am using the picture in the picture one from it or uh, particular source file. So we read that from picture one. So what happens when the picture moves a mouse on the picture one? Okay, because there is picture box in the form. So whenever we will move the mouse in the picture box, uh, the picture will be displayed in a picture box one. So most of the time you will go analyze this one. So whenever we move the mouse in a particular picture box, so the picture will be uh, do now. So you can see the picture will be done. So this is because of this particular data is performed. What is that? So whenever we are facing the mouse, okay, in, in the process of picture box, so whatever picture is there, that will be displayed. Fine, this is what I think the event is created. Okay, so when we are placing the mouse on the picture box, what we are happening, an event is created. Okay, now what we want, the event is just to display the picture. So these are some common events that are used by many. On a okay. okay, so if you are move on this move on, so now you can see this is another example. Okay, where is the compound? 
we are going to okay so we are going to be a procedure for image one underscore bounce down now we are going to get the uh, argument but i want to the file that same as an integer and then y and the single by one now what we do image one in the image one box picture okay target we are going to picture here we want to talk about so that we can do the basic so what will happen when the user puts a bounce down the image one the picture will be displayed in the image one so one of the things that we move the mouse down to the image okay on in the previous example what happened if you place the mouse on the picture then it will be displayed but in this case when we put the mouse down on image okay, image one Then the picture will be displayed on the image one center. Similarly, we are having the next user called key phrase. Okay. Now we are going to do from procedure from from underscore key phrase. Okay. Now I am going to do the ASCII variable and the integer part here. Only one parameter is available, or only one of them for this function. Now it is simply for displaying. Or to print the message like even the place is accurate. Okay, so in this example, when the user press any key to the keyboard, it prints key press even is accurate on the form. So we can have a form. So I'm going to do that. Uh, perform certain activity related to the keyboard. Okay, or if you press any key in the keyboard, so it will simply display a message that. Your key press event is activated. Now the key press event is activated. The user has confirmed that the key press event is active. Fine. Okay. So, is any doubt till now? So this is another event. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so this is a uh, event. This is something for the event called clear. Okay, now uh, and you can see here when we are using the target keyword for the access specifier. Now here, yeah, the name of the function is form underscore clear. Okay, form underscore clear. Now uh, we are having a value of form key code, key code as an integer type. Then zip as an integer type. Okay, two variables are used. Two variables are called the bits. You can say, or arguments are used here. Now, it is basically displaying the message for print. Or it is a it is printing the message for even the activity. So, what are the activities that you should be performing this set of code in a given basic? Okay. So, when the user is press any key in the board, okay, any key in the board. Then it will display a message like "Be up, be up, be up." So we are writing now. So if I if the user tries to perform certain activity in the program, form, okay. Now we will say at this time that "Be up, be up, be up, be up." Okay. So this is another example. Another example for different types of form. Okay. Form. Now, now let us discuss the very first control, which is the picture box control. Okay, now the Visual Basic provides a lot of controls, which basically going to use for the use by the users. 
okay, one user can be okay, let's say, right? Why, why, why this, why uh, this control, the user can use this forms or little notification more quickly. Now, the first control is a picture was control. The picture was control are among the most powerful and complex items in the Visual Basic Toolbox window. Okay, so it is one of the most powerful and the complex, powerful as well as a complex uh, item in your Visual Basic Toolbox. These controls are more similar to form than to the other control. Now, this picture box control are much have same property, similar property or much, much similar to the forms. Okay, the one forms we have designed, okay, are very much similar. Or for example, we can say the picture control support all the properties related to graphical output, including okay, so whatever the graphical uh, we have seen, okay, graphical design method like. How to draw the line, how to draw a circle, how to draw the point. Fine. So, whatever property that is supported by the graphical output, this is also supported by the picture box control, like the auto redraw, or you can say uh, clipping controls, okay, or front transparency, now the modules like current and x and y modules values, and you can say all other draw. Controls. Fine. And the uh, picture was control also support all the graphical method. So along with that, it is also supported for all the graphical method. Suppose all your graphical methods, such as your methods such as like your CLS, P set, point, line, circle, and conversion methods. So as we have already seen, line is used for drawing the line. Point function is method is for drawing the point, circle from the point but method is used for drawing the circle. And along with that, conversion method can be also used. Okay. Like we can say such as scale of scale X and scale of Y. Along with that, the text width, you know, and height width, and color also can be changed. So, whatever the method that are supported by the graphical methods, yeah, that are also supported by the picture box. So, now this is an example here. So, how we are loading an image to the picture box control. So, we can load an image in many different graphical format. So, so all this most of the Format it is supported, okay, uh, including your uh, BFP, JPG, okay, uh, TIP. So, all other format, what are the format of the is supported by that, and it is device independent, bitmap, or your meta files, W, it's file with the file extension of WMF, or enhanced meta files with file extension of EMF, and even if your GIEF and JP is the compress files also supported and given the icons. Okay. Then programmatically load any images in a control using the load picture function. So, the one, so when, whenever you want to load a picture or uh, image in a picture box, so you will use this function called load picture function. And this is, a, this is an example here. You can see this is an example here which we have written. So this is a command to load the picture. So how do you picture one dot picture? Okay, now in a picture one, I have to, uh, I have to load a picture. Now what function do we have used? The load picture function is used. Now this is a path. This is a path from where we will derive this picture. To load a picture function has been executed in Visual 6 supported by iPhone 5 and there's a multiple iPhones also. Either you can use this one or you can use the load picture with the file name. Okay, you can give the file name, then size of the file, then your color name, then accent, while content. Okay, or you can, uh, another way is you can copy an image from a picture box control. 
Okay, so what we will do, basically we will copy an image from the picture works control to the uh, another by assigning a target control picture box. Now in this case, what we are doing now, we are copying an image. Okay, I am having one image, okay, on one picture box. Now I am having another picture box. This consists of an image. So I will simply copy this image to the picture box. So this is a, this is a command that we are using for the copying the images. Now what I am doing now, picture two dot picture is equal to picture one dot picture. And this is the application inserted and command button. So we can uh, so that in the picture box and entire following enter the following chorus can be used. So this is basically how we are going to move. We are now we will see the different forms, the okay, different uh, formats we can say how this picture can work. One of the different ways directly we can provide the path and this load picture function or method can be used to load the picture. Or either we can provide the finding okay, along with that size, color and what is the picture. Or we can copy the picture. Okay. Also, you can also perform the copy the picture. I can directly copy one picture from the other. Okay, so this is the following example here. Now, this is the example here. You can see how we are using the picture here. Now, in this application, we are what we are doing uh, is we inserting a command button. Okay, I am taking insert command button and a picture box to enter the following. Now you can see when the target is actually specified, now I am using it. So, I command one underscore click, this is my event. Okay, what are event function here? Event is command one underscore click. Now, we have to load the picture. Now, what I am doing? What I am doing? The picture one, not picture is called the whole picture function. Fine, so you can see here. Uh, the command button, you can, here you can uh, click on this event called load picture. So, once you click on this load picture, it can be loaded. The images that you want to load that can be loaded or copied. Similarly, we can say, uh, in another example, so uh, in this program, this is going to be insert a command button and image control into the forms. Beside that, uh, we will set an image uh, stress property for the two. So, what we are doing, so here we are using a, again a function called CMD load, load event underscore click. This is my function of position name, which will be used for loading the picture. Now, here instead of using the picture uh, image, so we are going to use the image one dot picture. Okay, so now. We will directly load this picture into a form. Okay, in, in the previous example here, we will have a picture in a picture box. But if you want to load the picture in a form, so we have to use picture one dot picture equal to or image one dot picture equal to target the load picture. There is a the function we have to use load picture along with that we have to put the form. There is the output. Now the difference between this is this this picture is basically loaded in the picture format, but this image is loaded to the Form. So, if you have to click this event, okay, when you perform this event, the picture will be loaded. Okay? So, that is something about your picture and your images. So, if there are any doubt, you can ask me. Okay, so let's do one. Now, next 
type of control which is a level control. Now the level control is very helpful. Okay, all the children have to control for the visual basis as it is not only used for providing instruction, okay, but also guides the user. Uh, it, or you can say it can also be used to display the output. Okay, so this is very one of the important control in the visual basis. What it do? It, is, it provides an instruction for the particular icon. Okay, along with that, it will guide to the users, okay, guide to the users, uh, and it can also be very useful to display the output also. Now, one of its important properties, or we can say one of its most important properties, capture. The capture is its most important property where well, well, we will get an information regarding this level. By uh, using the syntax level, Caption, level not caption, it can be displayed text and maybe data. So we can use this uh, level caption here, level caption property. So this is basically used to display the text and the data. Mm -hmm. Or we can change this caption, okay, we can change the captions uh, in the community window. Okay, we can put the property window and we can, if you want to edit the caption, we can perform this also. Okay, we can change the caption in the property window and also run it. We can say the most most people, okay, most of the user or many people use level control to provide a descriptive caption. Okay, particular icon is there. Now that particular icon wants to do a descriptive thing. So we will use a level and possibly and associated or theme for other people, such as text box, list box, and box, cover box. Okay. So that's not exposed a capsule property. So this boxes generally will not have okay, this boxes are generally are not having uh, what we can say uh, we can say this boxes uh, this box this control is generally not having capsule property. So on that case we can use this level control as an, uh, you can say, as a uh, caption property for this box. And some of the important properties uh, that are uh, regarding the level control are first, first of all, as we have already said, the caption is the one of the most important property of any level. Okay, so you can say the caption that, has, that is displayed in the level, what is the caption that is got? But the text that will be displayed in a level, then your back color and sun color, that is basically your background and background color, which will be, will be related to the color of the background and the texts. Then your back style, next property is the back style. Back style basically either it is transparent or it can be displayed. Basically, when you write the caption there, so whether it can be whether it can be transparent in nature or, or we can say whether it can be uh, visible to the user. Okay, that is background is visible or not. The font, font, and the size of the text. This is basically uh, what is the size of the text and how it is written. How it is written. Then, when we use alignment, alignment is basic. So basically we can take the text center or text centering whether the text will be on the left of the icon or the it will be right of the icon or we can say uh, or we can say uh, whether it is center okay where what we want to place this icon okay so these are some important properties okay we can say these are some important properties uh, that are associated uh, uh, with the level control. Okay, so these are some important controls. Okay, now picture box control uh, uh, is one of the important controls that is provided by the visual basics. Okay, which are uh, here we have six. What are the common uh, effects that are associated with them? Okay, second. Control that we have seen is your level control. 
Now, physical it is used for capsaicin, and it is also used by the other control boxes like text boxes. Okay, and we have discussed some of, or we have listed some of the common features or it has common properties of a level control, like capsule, background, color, and foreground color. Then there is a back style, okay, along the front and front and side of the axis. Then what will be the alignment? Okay, so those who are joining me, I will share the QR code for them. So just use your attendance. Okay, scan this QR code. Scan this QR code. Okay, so I think we have already scanned. So we will stop here today's class and we will continue with the next class.